Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to Rose in the East. As usual, I've got my man working hard. <laughs> so have you, what have, you, have you been weeding out here? It looks really clean. Yeah. What have you done? Just this little patch here to start with. I've not got a lot of room in here. Oh, I totally forgot that you planted courgettes out here. Yeah, one's starting to flower. Oh my gosh. They're not doing as big as the ones out back, but still. No, no. Uh, excuse me, dog. Hey! Charlie, get out of there. <laughs> so you've been busy. Yeah, so a bit of weeding. I've uh, given the tree a haircut. Alright, so don't kill us, people. Andy trimmed the tree. Yeah. And then discovered something. Yeah. Do you want to take the camera and show them? If I can reach it, it's very high. Yeah. Okay. We we're just about to video the nest that Andy discovered in the tree after he'd hacked away at the top of the tree. And we've just realized the mum's come back and she's actually in the nest. But now the nest is completely open to the elements. So I have no idea how long these babies are going to survive well, in there. she's sitting on them, so... She's sitting on them, yeah. Fingers crossed. What I'll do is I'll attach on this video the photo that Andy took mm. before mum came back. All right, let's see if I can uh, zoom in here. So, ooh, there's mummy. All right. So we spooked mummy and she's flown off. So <laughs> I'm literally grabbing Andy's face as I'm up a step ladder. <laughs> All right, I'll come back down then. Okay, so we spooked mummy bird, but it was a, a goldfinch, right? I don't know, I'll have to look it up. I think it's a goldfinch. Um, they look, they're about the size of a blue tit, but they're black and white with a red splodge on the top of their head. So she's flown off into the pine tree there, and we'll leave her alone to come back and sit on her nest. But it's such a shame, because had we known the nest was there, obviously we would not have cut the tree so drastically. But uh, it is what it is, and she'll come back and stay on her nest, and hopefully it does not get blown off in the winds because it's literally like right there but hey ho these things happen we didn't we had no idea there was still any birds nesting yes yeah, the middle of summer i just sort of would have assumed it all been done by now but clearly not so we have a nest in there we don't touch it and move it to a safer space because then mummy will not come back and hatch her eggs so we'll just have to keep an eye on it they're so cool. All right, so what else is happening in the world of the Rose in the East? Uh, not a great deal. Andy was supposed to find out this week if he was going to lose his job, but uh, apparently they're running behind schedule, so he won't find out till next week now. Uh, but by all accounts, um, None of the proposals that his team put forward are being accepted by the management, so they literally have no clue what is about to happen to them. So it's just a waiting game. Uh, Constance is having a hard time at the moment. She's really, really missing her friends. And she's not the best at phoning them, so... I keep telling her, just phone them, just phone, you can speak to them on the phone anytime you want. You've got your own phone, most of them have their own phones. Uh, her best, best friend does not have a phone, but we can always arrange, and we have done, arranged for them to talk using her mum's phone. So it's all doable, but for, for whatever reason, it just doesn't come naturally to her to pick up the phone and start chatting to people. Um... 
Abigail, oops, Abigail was having a rough time as well, but we've managed to make some new friends. Uh, and uh, the two girls get on like an absolute house on fire. They're like two peas in a pod. It's quite scary. So that's good. And yeah, the chickens are still thriving. The garden's still growing. Yeah, have a look. Yeah, so, you know, we're just kind of casually doing our day we're kind of oh we want to make plans but we just never know what the heck is going on in the world so we don't tend to make too many plans at the moment we're just happily looking after our victory garden our little mini homestead oh i need to pick some beans there's a few here i could probably go with tonight's dinner Hmm, could do with a bigger handful. We'll see. Interesting fact I learnt the other day. Yesterday, day before. I always assumed, I have no idea why, that a yeoman was something to do with a uh, sailing a crew on a ship. Something A yeoman, I don't know why. It just struck me as something to do with ships. I just found out a yeoman is somebody who owns their own land and farms their own land. So technically speaking, you could say that I am a yeoman. I own my own land and I am farming and cultivating it. <laughs> there you go, things you learn by reading through your children's English books. Yeah. Are you a yeoman? Do you know of another meaning of the word yeoman? Hey. I do not profess to be all-knowing. What are the chickens up to? Let's have a look. Hey girls. How are you doing today? Pepper, Snowy? Have you stopped brooding yet? Hmm? Where are the other two? Here they are. Hey Magma! Hey Esther! How are my two boss girls doing today? Buck, 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 buck. Mm. So, not a huge amount happening in our world at the moment. <laughs> so we're just, we're just kind of in limbo at the moment until we know exactly what is happening with Andy. I am looking to do an aromatherapy diploma course, which I'm excited about. So I'll be doing that online over the next few weeks with an exam at the end. Ugh. And uh, once I've done that, we'll see if that leads to being able to pursue a career in aromatherapy. Um, Courses are quite expensive, so until I know if Andy has a job or not, I can't really spend too much money on extra courses. So there we go. And Andy is just happily being a chicken, pulling out weeds. Back, 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 back. <laughs> and Otto is all obsessed, aren't you, Otto? So just a quick little catch up today hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are all still staying safe wherever you are in the world i hope that coronavirus isn't affecting you too much and we will catch you guys on the next video please leave a comment below maybe there's something you'd like to ask maybe there's something you'd like to see more of um just honestly just let us know um if you're following us on instagram we're sharing a lot on there about doTERRA essential oils and um, slightly more sustainable living ideas, things like that. So drop on by. I'm also doing a giveaway on there at the moment. So if you drop over there, you can get yourself into the giveaway to get, uh, win um, lots of sort of eco-friendly, plastic-free goodies. So we'll see you guys a bit later on. Thanks for stopping by.